Welcome to another episode of Jamie and Julia. I'm your host, Jamie, and with me as always, Julia Child. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. So I'm on a mission to learn how to cook through the book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. I honestly just turn the book over, open it up, and pick a recipe, and I make it. Today we're making French onion soup, which is a soup à la onion gratiné, 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 melted cheese on top of the soup, and oh, underneath is this French baguette that's been toasted. The onions for an onion soup need a long, slow cooking in butter and oil for them to develop the deep, rich flavor. You should therefore count on two and a half hours at least from start to finish. I'm gonna go with the faded green today because it would go with my hat. One and a half pounds of thinly sliced onion. Julia makes a very strong case for this recipe in particular of having a very sharp knife. Cut it in half, take the skin off. So practicing my knife skills as best as I can. Oh, I'm already crying. God damn. Julia says, take an onion and cut it through the root. And then I'm gonna take a couple slices off the stem and the root. Holding the knife with your finger and your thumb on the blade. Thumb like right back here. Gripping the onion. Stick your knuckles out. Use them as a guide. And you cut down and down and down. She says you can go really fast when you start figuring it out. But I'm starting to cry so I can't go as fast as I would like. And as much as I'm learning how to cook these recipes, it's equally as important for me to learn the proper techniques that I can carry over into my other cooking. Because I want to be able to be one of those people that goes She says the knife needs to be an extension of your arm. So when it becomes so small like that, just flip it down and let's continue forward. Need a heavy bottom saucepan. One and a half ounces of butter, onions. Recipe just says oil. What kind of oil do I need? A tablespoon of cooking oil. Cooking oil, okay. So roughly a tablespoon of cooking oil. And then this needs to be on like a gradual heat. Make sure you move it all around. The onions need to be fully covered in that butter and the oil. And this is a slower cooking process because I don't want to Overcook the onions. I don't want them to become brown too fast. They need to become tender, then brown. So take your time with it. 15 minutes, let's go. I wish this page would just stay open. Uncover, raise the heat to moderate and stir in the salt and the sugar. About a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of sugar. The sugar helped the, the sugar helps the onions to brown. I'm gonna use tablespoons and teaspoons because I want to get this right. This is a teaspoon of salt. Stir that in. Quarter teaspoon of sugar. Stir that in. Sugar helps the onions to brown. Okay, turn the heat up to medium. So I'm gonna let this cook for 30 to 40 minutes, uh, but I gotta stir it frequently. So, uh, you know, always be watching. Always be watching. In this cookbook, Julia Childs goes by Fahrenheit and not Celsius in a French cookbook. That is a major faux pas. Uh-huh. What's 325 degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius? I can remember. 325 degrees Fahrenheit is 162. French baguette. I already had some of it yesterday. I need to make croutes, croutes, croutes. Looks like crouton, except it doesn't have the on on it. Croutes. I'm assuming it's croutes. Hard toasted French bread. So let's cut this bread roughly three quarters to an inch slices. Oh shit. I should stir my onions. Oh, those look magnificent. Okay, I'll show you later. Brush some olive oil on both sides of these slices. Now these are gonna hang out in the oven for half an hour. Halfway through though, I'm gonna flip them over so the, the other side gets a little attention. And that was when you're supposed to add the olive oil. So I read the recipe too quickly. That's my mistake, not a big deal. This was like 35, 40 minutes. 
These onions are looking golden brown. So I'm gonna add one and a half ounces of flour. Oh shit. should I read, should I read? Sprinkle in this flour and stir for three minutes. Really quickly, I need to boil up some water. Super quickly. Three and a quarter pints of beef stock. I'm gonna be using beef bouillon cubes. There are these little, you know, they turn into beef stock when you mix them with boiling water. 190 milliliters of boiling water for one cube. How many uh, milliliters are in three and a quarter pints? This is 1, Divided by 190. It's about 8.2315. So I need roughly eight beef stock cubes. Okay. My math could be wrong on this. Away from the heat, blend in the boiling liquid. Add in the beef stock. Next up, dry white wine. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. Cheapest one I could find. And it's French. What's a quarter pint in milliliters? 118.29 milliliters. I don't even know what this alarm is for anymore. Okay, that is a little more than I needed. So when I watch the Julia Child's videos, she takes salt, which is in her hand, and she just kind of drops it in a bit, and she tastes it. And she goes, hmm, maybe a bit more. Hmm. I also need some pepper. This goes back on the heat. Put a lid on just partially, and I need this to simmer for 35 minutes. So while it's simmering, this like skin starts to form on the very top of the soup. Uh, just skim it off, check your seasoning, in like uh, 35, 40 minutes. Bring the soup over here, turn off the heat. Thank you very much. Okay, so stir in cognac. Cognac. I don't have cognac, but I have brandy. And with cooking, apparently they're one and the same. So I'm going to add three tablespoons. Now I'm kind of curious why you add it to your soup. I think it's just like an extra, like, it's like a luxury. Julia says it adds a little to the taste. Well, let's stir it in. So some grated raw onion on the very top. This is what she does, just like that, over top. Throw it in. Some Swiss cheese with the holes in it. This is Emmental cheese. I'm gonna use this side of the grater and I'm gonna turn these into slices, like, like, like that. Like that. But don't eat it. And I need two ounces. There's probably no such thing as too much cheese. That's more than two ounces. That's double two ounces, but I like that. 4.8 ounces. Add this cheese into the soup. That's gonna add a nice stringy quality to the soup. Love it, love it. If you're just making French onion soup, you'd be done by now, but we're gonna add a little more pomp to this thing. Let's continue. What does pomp mean? Ceremony and splendid display. Okay, so let's stir in the cheese and the grated onions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe a little more salt, a little more pepper. I'm wondering if there's a way to like clean this up a bit before I add more stuff to it. If not, not a big deal, don't worry about it. So this is what the croots look like, these toasted croots on the top. Parmesan cheese, let's grate it on top. Like a super thick layer on top. So thick that you don't know when to say when. Get the edges, get the edges. Use this grater, it works better. You wanna cover every part of that toast because if you don't, the toast is gonna burn. I could be doing a mixture of Swiss and Parmesan, but I think there's a lot of good Swiss already in the soup, so I think I'm just gonna go balls to the wall with the Parmesan. If you're lactose intolerant, you may have to take a lactate for this. Um, that's okay, it might be worth it. Lastly, let's take some olive oil. She does the cool thing with her thumb. I don't think this bottle was designed for that, but we're gonna try it anyway. And let's just pour it on top of the cheese, please. Hey, that's kind of working. And what that's gonna do is help this cheese turn brown while it's in the oven. The oven needs to be on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake that for 20 minutes. That cheese needs to be brown. So I'm gonna turn the broiler on, I'm gonna let that go for two minutes. Hey, 
is the most perfect fall day, and this is the most perfect fall meal I could ever ask for. Check out that bite. That is hot on my hands. Mm -hmm. Now Julia Child said that the soup is what made the onion famous. That's what she said. For me, it's like, this doesn't come across too often, but it's not every day where you're able to just whip something like this up at home and it be this good. It's a masterpiece. Broth is flavor town. The onions are just like super soft and caramelized and, and perfect. And then there's melted cheese in there. And don't even get me started on the croots. The croots are like, that's that thing that brings it all home. That is all I got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the show, there's a link in the description. You can join these lovely people up on the screen right now. And well, that was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. See you very soon.